sometimes the big topics seem a little too big for us to talk about. It's the feeling of being small, but knowing your passions, voice, and impact can be big. We are fighting against so much adversity around us, and it's hard to feel like you can have any space to breathe, mess up, heal, and be human. It's hard to know what the most effective way to create change is and how we can do that fast enough when we have essentially no time at all. We are working to create change through our project Resilience Redefined by sharing story solutions and inspiration. We often talk about the who, what, when, where, and whys of projects. And with this spoken word piece, we wanted to dive into the why a little bit more. Right now, the world is on fire. Our children in cages are by Fox skin facing anger and hatred. Because of this, it's been a while. Since I've been able to feel alive, carefree, and connected to the world around me. Can you remember? The beautiful little human who used to laugh in the forest before the world told them who they needed to be. In every little plant, each little creature, we could see ourselves, the future, and the whole world. Then it hit. It's a wave, a tornado, a fire raging. It's climate change that breaks the chain. The news lies, making lives a trend. It burrows holes and in information, twisting the stories to fit our great nation. These systems and boxes forming molds and coffins. Don't fail that test, don't eat the rest. Don't sit and breathe, fight back the tears. Silence are ringing in my ears. Wake up. You are strong and resilient. What is resiliency to you? Why do you fight? What makes you wake up each day to embrace the sun in your own heart? That is our revolution, the way to start. It's a form of art. It paints this picture where these puzzle pieces fit together. We are all a piece, abstract, because we don't fit into a mold. But our culture tells a story so deeply embedded into us. We are survivors, healers, warriors, farmers, musicians, the artists, reflecting our strength, painting our stories. These stories empower us so we can lift each other up. It's our time to change and we will rise to fight. It starts in your heart and then in your home. It travels into your community and you unite to be bold. You live it, you dream it, you think it, you feel it. It, it is change. Even though we feel the pain and the hurt that is carried into our bones and in our way of being, we need to remake the world. Hearts together, minds together to imagine and dream up all that is possible. So we teach our children, we pass down language. We see color, we tell them that climate change is real. We do all of this to heal. I'm tired, I keep spinning in circles. Pause. There's so much separation. I can see all of this written out so clearly in a textbook. We are living history. How do we want to fill in those pages? How will it end? Remembering the time the world broke apart Hearts, families, and so many tears. Broken, but still so, so beautiful. Resilience is our beauty. We follow all the movements. A movie in motion, history to present day. A story of love, remembering what my grandma would say. We the people breaking out of this broken world. Our hearts hurting, but full of love and so much wisdom.